Well, Stephen Lauren, we just heard from Raleigh Water right now, and it's a 12 inch line that broke. So they isolated the break, and so it's draining the water. Crews are still out here. That's why we still see some water coming out, although it has changed a lot from when we first saw it at five. Now, this is the first step. There's an excavation crew on the way to dig up the leak and uh, find that leak actually to dig up and find that leak and then make that repair. And then after that, they believe an asphalt contractor will come in and replace it. They think this is going to be a fairly lengthy process. This could end up being a day or multiple days. It's hard to tell right now. Um, Raleigh Water says that they don't know why it happened. It seems the line is pretty new, but they say that they tend to see more water main breaks during the winter. And so for now tonight, um, it's going to be just a lengthy process of repairing. We also did hear from Raleigh Water that there are people that seem to be out of water. There's the other side of Western where there's a townhouse community near Blue Ridge Road that's out of water, but they're continuing to work on that. I and mean, that's the latest info that we have. Stephen Lauren. Night that are trying to prepare dinner. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be tracking that through the evening, the impact on people in that neighborhood and, of course, Western Boulevard as we look ahead to rush hour tomorrow morning. Cindy Bay on the scene in Raleigh. Cindy, thank you. And